Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. You guys already saw I'm gonna be doing my Sephora haul. Okay, let me apologize from the beginning because you could probably hear that my voice, <laughs> it is doing some things. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that allergies and I are not friends. Listen, here's the thing, right? I feel like as a Caribbean person, my body is rebelling against me every spring. I just can't adjust. You see where I come from? The beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago, we have two seasons, rainy season and dry season. So this whole concept of here's a flush of pollen and you can't breathe, that is just foreign to me. And yes, I've been here for a decade now, but my body just does not understand that. <laughs> so it doesn't get any better. So I have been struggling, like my throat has been swollen, I'm on a Flonase Zatec sort of cocktail, which is helping, um, but you know, it's just been a hot mess. Like luckily today though, it rained, so all of the green has kind of subsided a little bit, so I think that will help with my allergies some, but if you hear me sounding like this for a couple of videos, just know that it really is just allergies and your girl is struggling, so send prayers, send thoughts, well wishes, good vibes and all of that. Anyways, y'all don't care about my allergies. <laughs> <laughs> what you're here for is this haul. So here's the thing. Let me have a little sip of my water. If you watched my recommendations video, what to buy about the VIB sale, you know I said I wasn't buying much. Well, what had happened was one of the products that I wanted, it was no longer available online, so I had to do a buy online pickup in store. So I did that, and then <laughs> I went today to pick up my order and decided to browse the people themselves. That was the dumbest decision I have ever made. Like, <laughs> and now, here we are. This is my in-person haul because I do have an order coming from online. This is almost $400 later. Please don't be like me. Please don't judge me. This is a judgment-free zone. But I have all these products. I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I picked up so far for the Sephora VIB sale. Now, I have everything in this big daddy bag. I don't think I've ever in my life received a big Sephora bag. That's to tell you how I lost my mind. But it's okay. It's fine. Is it? <laughs> well, it gonna be okay. But I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. I'm gonna run through it. I will try to do a dedicated video testing out all of these products because y'all know if something don't work for me, it needs to go right back to Sephora. We don't keep trash here, especially if there is a period in which I could retain it. So I'm gonna head and just dive right in and show you guys all the stuff that I picked up. Oh, and really quickly too. So after I went to Sephora, I actually went to go visit my wig wife, who is a potter, and she was at a uh, sort of pop-up shop for her goods. So I did pick up some other stuff, too, that I want to show you guys because it is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful, and I'm so glad that I was able to go there and support her. And then I met this other really, really nice black woman who has a, a black-owned jewelry business, and I purchased some products from her as well. So I will, I will, I'll show you guys that as well and leave all of their information down below in case you want to support. These are two small businesses, two woman-owned businesses, and they create really great handmade products, so definitely recommend checking them out. All right, I'll put timestamps down below too in case y'all want to jump around. So let's start with Sephora. And let me just jump in and show you guys what I actually went to Sephora to pick up. Oh, to pick up. So this is the only product that I actually went there with the intentions of picking up. Like I said, I did do a buy online pickup in store because it was sold out online. And this is the Sephora Favorites Sun Safety Kit. And sorry, I had to use my ring light because it's raining and kind of gloomy today and a little dark. So again, Sun Safety Kit. This retails for $39, but I am Rue, so I was able to get it for 20% off, which I don't know what that actually rounds up to but I got it for 20% off there's a ton of products in here you guys so let me just walk you through first look at this bag I think they always do such a good job with the bags that these kits come in and they're typically pretty high quality now personally I like my bags to be clear because I like to see what's in them but I just think that this is also super cute so this could be like a really nice beach clutch thingamabob going on here it's just adorable I think this is gorgeous and it does feel like this is really high quality and it's a pretty big bag compared to some other ones that I've gotten. So open it up and here are all of the products. I'm just going to go through them one by one. And there are some full-size products in this, which I think makes this value even better. Like on the package, it actually says that this has a retail value of $235. Sorry, I just registered that in my mind because the because they're selling it for $39. Anyways, the first thing they have is this mineral sunscreen 
from First Aid Beauty. This has an SPF of 30. And again, this is the Sun Favorites kit, so pretty much everything in here is a sunscreen, which, you know, it's April, is about to be summertime. You can't have too much sunscreen because sunscreen is so important to protecting your skin from hyperpigmentation, signs of aging, all that fun jazz. Even if you're black, like, hear me clearly, black people. My people, we need sunscreen too, okay? Just saying. I've been trying to have my conversation, have, I've been trying to have this conversation with my dad and he's just like, son what? <laughs> and I get it, he's at the age where he's lived his life not wearing sunscreen, so me telling him to put on some sunscreen is like, girl, go sit down over there. You know how curbing your parents are. Anyways, the next thing I have is this Dr. Dennis Gross, Gross? Dr. Dennis Gross Lightweight Wrinkle Defense Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 30. I've tried this one, I didn't love it. It is definitely more greasy than I like it to be and doesn't sink in as well, but it is one that I will probably end up using as like a buddy sunscreen because I don't think I like it for my face. Then I have, I don't know if this is a full size, but it is 1.7 fluid ounces of the Kiehl's Facial Cream. This also has an SPF of 30. This is a pretty big size. I don't know what the full size is. There is a deluxe size of the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. This is probably my favorite sunscreen because it acts as a primer as well. It does have really great blurring properties and I feel like not only does it give you the protection but it is pretty matte on the skin and like I said it blurs your pores so you get that priming effect so you don't have to go in with a primer. Oh this is pretty. I've never seen this before. This is Saint Jane, their Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoothing Sunscreen with SPF 30. I like this packaging. This is cool. It's sealed, so I don't want to open it up, but I'm excited to try this, especially because they said that it's pore smoothing, so I'm hoping it has the same effect as the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. Uh, then I have this K-Skin sunscreen. This has SPF 45. I did get this in the kit that I got last year, and this is a kit I purchase pretty much every year because it comes out around this time, and the, spray, and the Sephora VIP sale is also around this time, so I'm able to get it at a discount. And like I said, you can never have too much sunscreen, you guys, because you really should be wearing it on a daily basis and reapplying and all that fun jazz, so you can go through it pretty quickly. Uh, then there's the Biosans Squalene and Zinc Sunscreen. So this has SPF 30 as well. What I will be interested to see with these sunscreens is what kind of white cast they're giving because you all know a lot of sunscreens tend to not blend into the skin really well, especially for people of color and you look a little gray. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I don't get that with any of these. Uh, but if I do, for the most likely I'll end up just either mixing it in with body lotion and using it as a body sunscreen instead of a face sunscreen. Uh, then I have this... It looks like a moisturizer with vitamin C from Murad and again SPF 30. Which seems to be like the commonality with a lot of these is that the SPF level is 30. Uh, there's a Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer sunscreen. This one has SPF 45. It's a pretty baby deluxe size. Ooh. This looks nice. The Josie Moran Get Even Sun Milk. This looks really nice. Again, SPF of 30. I like this little bottle, and it's a glass bottle too. It's very cute. Okay, so this is the Hum Here Comes the Sun D3 without UV damage. Oh, so this is a vitamin D gummy supplement. Okay. This is basically just one dose, which... Can you really get anything from just one little dose? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, oh, this is the Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen, and this one has SPF 50. I think this is the highest we've seen. This is a really tiny sample, though, um, so that might be able to give me one, two days worth. And then an even smaller sample is the Summer Friday Milk Sunscreen, again with SPF 30. And these are all pretty much mineral sunscreens. Um, two more. The Innisfree Daily Defense Sunscreen. This has SPF 36. That is a really odd number. Uh, I am not sure why. And then Dr. Jot Color Correcting Treatment. Oh, so yeah, and this one has an SPF of 30. Interesting. 
So it says it's a color correcting treatment. Where so oh, it so it neutralizes redness and protects skin. Is this like a green sunscreen? Yeah, it does have a little bit of a green tint to it. I don't know if you can really see. Interesting. I'll have to try it out because I don't really have redness to color correct. So I wonder how that will blend into my skin. But yeah, those are all of the different sunscreens that come in this Sephora Favorites kit. I think it's a really great value. Um, a lot of these are pretty decent deluxe sizes. There are a few that are really, really tiny, more like samples than deluxe products. But I think overall really good value and this is definitely gonna get used like this is and I like the sun safety kit that they do because it's something where I'm going to use every single product like there's not one that I would be like eh, won't use that because like I said if I don't want to wear it on my face I will put it in my like body lotion body sunscreen um, rotation because it is becoming summer and it will get used that way okay more sunscreen products so while I was there, I ended up seeing this mineral matte screen from Supergoop. I really like the Supergoop brand as a, um, as a go-to for sunscreen. Uh, and I saw this sunscreen and it said matte on it. The thing with most sunscreens is I find them to be very greasy, very oily. And as someone who has pretty oily leaning skin in my T-zone, it doesn't behoove me <laughs> to have a really oily sunscreen because then I, I'm just starting off the day greasy, right? So I was really interested by in this because it said that it was matte. It also has a little bit of tint to it from what I saw when I kind of swatched it in store. And this one does have an SPF of 40. So I think that this will be a really, really good option for me in the summertime. So I'm not looking greasy. And then I picked up the Resetting Refreshing Mist. So this is a setting slash refreshing spray that has SPF 40. Now I decided to pick this up because one of the things that I think all of us struggle with is figuring out how to reapply sunscreen when you have a full face of makeup, you know? Like I, I know that there are like some videos showing you how to do it, but for me, it doesn't, it doesn't register for me how people reapply sunscreen when you have foundation, concealer, blush, and all that on your face. Cause I'm like, how is it gonna sink in? Like, make it make sense. But because this is a setting spray, I think that that is a way for, for you to like refresh it. And I know that you can also get it in like a powder form where you like reapply like setting powder um, that has SPF in there. Is it going to be the same as applying real sunscreen? Probably not. But something is better than nothing. And until I figure out how to do that, how to reapply sunscreen without messing up my makeup, uh, this is gonna have to work. Um, so I'm really looking forward to testing this out, seeing how it like sits on the skin, how much it disturbs my makeup. Does it make me greasy? Does it stay help my makeup stay matte? You know, this will be a good one. I should have, you know, I don't think I saw like a mini in this to test it. If there, I wish there was like a. I'm actually check online to see if there is a travel size version to test, and if I like it, I'll get this one. So this might go back and I might get a travel vision if one exists. On my way out of Sephora, I ran into, you know that little section of like mini products that you have to pass before you leave that always gets you? Yes. I picked up the two Pat McGrath mini palettes. Y'all. <laughs> and I'm laughing at myself because I know in my video I told you guys do not buy Pat McGrath during the sale. I still stand by that. Don't buy Pat McGrath during the sale. We know Patricia has better sales. But I was there. These are already pretty inexpensive as they are. And they were so darn cute. And when I think about travel palettes, I didn't even really consider this. But this is the perfect travel palette. Let me open it. So the first one we have is the mini eyeshadow palette in Sublime Smoke. Look at this, it is so stinking tiny, like fits in the palm of my hand. And these are the shades. Now these are all repeat shades, so if you have any of her motherships, you already have these shades. These are not new, but this is the perfect travel palette. Now I know a lot of people are like, well how often are you traveling, blah blah blah. I do travel pretty frequently, and this is small enough that I could throw in a purse when it comes to travel. So I picked it up because I do have a number of trips coming up in the next couple of weeks where I will be 
traveling very, very frequently. And I don't want to bring anything too complicated because the truth is when I travel, I try to stick to the simplest of looks, like basic, neutral, simple looks. I'm not doing anything crazy because, and this is both personal and for work. Because when I travel for work, it's 100% professional. I'm keeping it neutral. I'm keeping it like very, very mild, not a ton of shimmer or glimmer or anything really on the eyes, very basic. And then when I travel personally, I don't like to do too much because let's be real, putting on like a full blown eyeshadow look takes forever. It is not a quick process. And quite frankly, I like, if I'm going somewhere, I want to be there. I want to be enjoying, I want to be exploring. I don't want to be in the room like applying makeup. So I've realized that when it comes to travel, I don't need too much. Like I'm not taking my palettes traveling with me like that, y'all. <laughs> I just want some brown eyeshadow <laughs> and I'm good to go. So I think that that is like the perfect travel size for me. Um, fits in easy peasy. I can literally throw it in my purse and that means I can take a very small makeup bag. And then I picked up the second palette which is the first mini that Pat McGrath released. I will say I like the packaging on these a lot more than like Natasha Denona's minis. I just think that this is just so much cuter. And this is the purple version. So I decided to pick this one up because with the brown and the purple, and this purple does have neutrals in there, I think I have like a pretty solid like travel set. I could pack both of these, neither of which take up a lot of space. I just tuck them into a little makeup bag and I have either a colorful kind of still in the neutral vein purple look or I have like a very standard brown bronze look. So yeah, I'm happy with I'm happy with both of these. Now these are a little expensive for what they are. I'll give it that because I think these are $25 a piece and Patricia, I feel like the amount of product in there is equals to maybe two of her single shadows in a mothership. So she tried it with that one because they're expensive for what they are. But I'm going to let it go. I'm, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to keep moving. Okay, now I did tell you guys that it does make sense to pick up the Sephora products because those are where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. They're 30% off. So I did pick up a, a couple of Sephora products. Now the first thing I picked up was two of the Micro Smooth Powders. This is what that looks like. Now, when I was there, I realized that they have not reformulated this, but one, I think, added more shades to this product because online it says that there are eight shades available, but when I went in store, there was like 12 or more. And I was just like, okay, this doesn't make sense. So they've definitely changed up this product a little bit now this is a stunning beautiful powder i do already have one of it um this is so interesting sorry um and it's interesting because i have one of it already in the shade mahogany and i picked up two more one in the shade embody and one in the shade toffee so in terms of numbers it's 56 60 and 65 and i can use all of these the color difference in this is so minuscule and the and honestly, the shades, I'm sorry, the finish of this is so light that I could use every single shade in this pretty decently. And I like having these types of products because they help me balance out my foundation. Like, you know, sometimes you'll get a foundation and it's a little too light and then you have to use your concealer and your powder to get it to like the perfect complexion product for you. And same with like if you have one that's a little too dark and then you again use concealer and powder to lighten things up. That's what I like about having products like this. And this is just one that is top quality. Now I'm looking at the packaging on this and I realize that it's changed slightly. So what is actually the most interesting thing is that the old packaging, the one that I have, this one does have seven grams of product and the new one has eight grams of product. So you get a little bit more actually, which is great, but still made in Italy. So, you know, really great quality product and it only retails for $20 on its own. So it's such a good deal on like a regular everyday basis that I would recommend checking it out if you were in the market for like a really nice lightweight powder. Like that's something that you could wear on your own if you want like a no makeup makeup kind of look because it doesn't give a ton of coverage and I it's very very multi-use. You can get a deeper shade to use as a bronzer, a lighter shade for setting the under eye. I really really like that. 
it's a solid one. And then the next Sephora product that I picked up was the blush brush. This is blush number, this is brush number 93. Uh, and this is what it looks like. I realized that this is the shape that I like for brushes just generally. The original price of this is $30. It does come wrapped like this. Um, but I like that kind of angled brush shape to apply my blushes. So this, I figured I'd give a try. I will say I really think that their pro line of brushes are top quality. So if you're in the market for some brushes and you don't want to like do the Refo or the Fude or any kind of sort of natural hair brushes and you want some solid synthetic brushes, definitely check out the Sephora brand brushes. Okay, sticking with brushes, I did pick up two brushes from Rare Beauty. Now, <laughs> Did I need these? No. Was I curious about them? Yes. Like I looked at both of these online and I almost bought them online but I wasn't sure. But I decided to pick it up when I was in store. Now Rare Beauty is itself uh, one of the more affordable brands at Sephora so luckily it's not the craziest price but it's not cheap either. So this is the foundation brush. It has a sort of angle to it, very dense brush. And I think I got this because it, there's a Rose and Ben brush that looks exactly like this for, you know, foundation application. But that one is more expensive, so I decided to try this one to see if I, how I feel about the applicator in this. And then the concealer is just a miniature version of the foundation brush. I just think the shape of this is so nice because it would get really, really nice and up into the crevice here to, like, blend out concealer, so... Really looking forward to trying both of these brushes. Okay, only a couple products left. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I got was this Underglow Blurring Primer from Iconic London. Now, I was actually looking for <laughs> the Hourglass Primer, and then one of the sales associates showed me this and applied it, and I was just like, whoa. Like, this is stunning, it's beautiful. It has a glow to it and it's a primer that I would wear by itself. Like you know that Charlotte Tilbury glowy primer thing the and like the e.l.f. one that everyone was like crazy about? Well I tried the e.l.f. and I don't think I like it. Like I have it, I tried it and I was like oh this is fine but I have not used it in a very long time because that is so glowy that it's like greasy on me. I don't like it. Everything sticks to it. And if that's what Charlotte is, I don't want it either. This one I, is like what I would have wanted those to be based on what it looked like when she applied it to my skin. Like it was a matte glow. And I know that's like the biggest oxymoron ever. But there was like fine shimmer in there that gave my face a glow. But not. it wasn't greasy. It like dried down and I can still see shimmer. And I was just like, this is beautiful. Now this was $29.00. But, which I think is not bad, because I think the Charlotte Tilbury one is, what, in the 30s, 40s maybe, so not bad in terms of pricing, and I really like that, and I, I honestly think that that is one I would wear by itself, because it created such a, like, matte but sh glowy base. Oh my gosh, I'm explaining this terribly, and I have to, like, apply it in a video for you guys to see, because <laughs> saying matte but glowy makes no sense, and I fully recognize that, so please do not attack me. Sorry, I'm doing my best. Uh, and then I picked up a travel size of the One Size Mattifying Setting Spray. I've heard really great things about One Size products for oily skin and keeping things matte and controlled. I tried to get the primer, but they didn't have any in stock. And no, I don't know if I want to order it online. Um, like, the reviews seem to be mixed. Like, some people love it. Some people are like, it didn't do anything. So I'm not sure. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. And I've also heard people say that the packaging is flawed and it tends to leak everywhere. So that's another thing to be concerned about. And then lastly, three final products. So first up, I did pick up the Hourglass Airbrush Primer. This is one that I did tell you guys that I was interested in because I'd gotten a sample of it from Ulta for free. So... I loved how that made my makeup look. I felt like it lasted longer. I felt like it kept me a little bit more matte. So I was thinking about like the fact that Hourglass doesn't have crazy sales. So this would be pretty much the only time for me to pick it up. Unless I got like a coupon from Ulta. Sorry. Yeah. Unless I got a coupon from Ulta for like a prestige product. So I went ahead and I just picked it up. Then I picked up a backup of my Dior Forever Bronze Bronzer in shade 8. Now I've told you guys... 
Don't buy backups of products. And I still believe that. But I picked this one up because I've already hit pan in that bronzer. So it was time for a fresh one. It is so beautiful. Now it does look really, really rich in the pan. But honestly, I think that this is my favorite bronzer. It applies like perfection on the skin. It just looks beautiful. This is my, this is the one that I have now. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. It's perfect. This is what I travel with. This is what I use at like really, really important events. Like honestly, Dior has such a effortless formula in a lot of their products that your skin just looks beautiful, like just amazing. So I tend to pull it out for all my special occasion things. And then I picked up one of their highlighters. I didn't have one of these and I swatched it and I was like, oh, okay, Dior. Um, this is Golden Glow, which I think is the deepest shade. And it was such a pretty highlight when I swatched it. Like the most stunning, beautiful golden highlight. And um, yeah, I kind of like picked this up on a whim. Okay, so that is it. That is all I picked up from Sephora. Who child, I need to sit my ass down. Like I told you guys, that was almost $400. Let me... It was $375.03. Just ghetto. Um, definitely should not have bought half of these things. And hopefully they all don't work up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully they work out for me. But if they don't, I will definitely be returning them to the store. Um, but we'll see. I did get 219 points. So yay. And I saved $97.20. So, you know, every little penny counts. <laughs> And I will probably have to declutter some other products in my collection because I don't want to, you know, just bring these things in with the things that I already have. So I might take a look at my collection and see what I want to get rid of. I already know that I am pretty sure that I am putting my two Charlotte Tilbury bronzers on Macari. This is three and four. These are just two, like, I am in between three and four and I don't want to mix no more. I'm tired of mixing bronzers. Well to get the shade like I don't mind mixing two bronzers that I like well enough to like have like a matte and then a glowy one on top of it that's completely fine but those two just I have to go in with the dark one and then going with the light one to buff all the edges it just is too much it's too much and I never reach for it because of that so I'm gonna declutter that Anyways, I told you guys that I went to see my work wife and she is a potter. So I'm going to show you guys the things that I got from her um, at her pop-up shop. Okay, so her company is called Alley Cat Clay. Make sure you guys go check it out if you are in the market for some handmade clay products. So I hope you were able to either screenshot or get a... Um, a, a good look at the QR code. Uh, first thing I got with these clay earrings, which y'all, stunning. Look at this. All of these are handmade, like I said. So this is a black and white one. It has like a little spider web design in there. It's so pretty. And then this one is black and white with a little bit of red. I don't know if you can see the red in there, which I was super excited about. And then this one is a white with a little bit of black and purple in there. So I have those the three earrings, which I'm so excited for. And then I got a new coffee mug. Look at this, you guys. This is so beautiful. Again, handmade perfection. I... I'm obsessed with this piece. I also kind of like that it doesn't have a handle to it because you can just like hold it, like, you know, get that warm feel and drink from it. I'm really excited about this. I've asked her to make me a matching bowl with it because, I mean, you gotta get the full set, right? And then I think my most favorite piece is this bowl. Look at that. Oh my God, you guys, like, I love like a good turquoisey tealy shade, so I am already obsessed with this. And like, look at the details. Again, all fully handmade. So 
I was really happy, one, to both see her, see her business, um, but also because I got some really, really amazing handmade um, bowls, a bowl and mug and some earrings, so I'm excited about that. And because it was a pop-up shop that had other local um, Philadelphia businesses, there were some other folks there, and I met this lovely, like, amazing black woman, and she does handmade jewelry. Let me... So, her name is Tiara. This is her card and her QR code. And her business is called Freebird 1985. Make sure you check it out. And let me show you what I got from her. Now, the first thing that caught my eye was actually a pair of earrings. You guys know I love my earrings. You know that I'm always, like, finding really, really great sort of statement pieces. And this one... Y'all, I was like, yes, give me, give me. Like, I cannot wait to put these on my ears. This was only tw this was only 25 bucks. This is actually brand new. She said that she just made them. They weren't even on her website yet. So I, like, I had to snag these. This is just so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear them. And then the other piece I got, I'm actually wearing right now, it is a bracelet. So I, so I told, you guys have seen some of these before. This one I got from TJ Maxx is my elephant bracelet. This one is from Anna Luisa. And this is the one that I got from Freebird, um, the business that I'm telling you guys about. Now this is Jade. Uh, and I think it's so beautiful. You can see the black and the green and the red with a little gold detail here. Um, and I love earth tones. I think that they look really good on my complexion. So I really think that this is one that's just absolutely stunning. Now you can get it in multiple sizes, small, medium, large. I got the medium and I think it fits well. It's a really good layering bracelet, very comfortable. And overall, I think just really good quality. So that was the other piece that I got. And that is it. No, <laughs> I need to go sit down somewhere and not buy anything else for the month of April. May or June, if we're being honest. So, <laughs> yeah, and that is it for me, guys. Actually, I will probably end up coming back to show you guys a part two of my Sephora haul because, like I said, I did buy some things online. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for some first impressions videos of me using all of the products that I picked up. Anyways, that's it from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now I want to hear from you. Let me know how your Sephora VIB sale is going. Have you bought things? Are you planning on buying things? Have you gone in store and gotten caught <laughs> in that excitement yet? Let me know all of those things down below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. I appreciate you more than you know and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!